welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the RSP Spectrum Analyzer software. Now this works with a range of SDR plays RSP software defined radio receivers, and it's a free download, which you can go ahead and download from the sdrplay.com website. Now what this Spectrum Analyzer software allows you to do is see a visual representation of an incoming signal into the RSP. Now you obviously you can go ahead and connect an antenna to your RSP as you would normally do when you want to listen to a radio reception. What you can also do is connect a signal source directly to the RSP and look at the signal source's output. So today we've got a couple of devices that we're going to use as a signal source. We first got the Hack RF, which is an SDR receiver and transmitter. And we've also got a Lime SDR Mini, which is also an SDR receiver and transmitter. Now the RSP SDR receiver that I'm using here is the RSP2 Pro. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect up the Hack RF1 to the RSP2 Pro. But what we need to do, and you must always do this, is we're going to connect an attenuator in between the Hack RF, i.e. our signal source, and the RSP2 Pro. Now in this example, I'm going to be using a 10 dB attenuator but I probably would recommend to use higher ones if you want to use more power than a couple of milliwatts. Once we get into the software, I'll show you how you can work out the true reading with the attenuator attached. So with the Hack RF attached and everything's cabled up, we're going to have RSP Spectrum Analyzer started and running. I'll go through that in a moment with you. But first of all, I'm just going to load up an application called SDR Angel, which we're going to use to control the Hack RF one to transmit a carrier on one gigahertz. OK, so we now have SDR Angel open. And for this, I want to go to device sets, add sync device set. Going to click this little finger icon here, change it to Hack RF. Going to choose a NFM modulator, click the plus. And we see over here on the right, we have our uh, narrow FM modulator. And then we're just going to change the frequency to one gig. And then I'm going to click play. So on the top right hand corner over here, just make sure that you've got your center frequency set to where you want it to analyze. We're going to see here that we've got a peak. Now this is quite good. We're currently seeing minus 25.7 dB. Obviously I'm using a 10 dB attenuator, so we need to take 10 off of that. So we're looking at around minus 15 dB currently. Now there's some really cool things that you can do with this software. So first thing we're going to do is enable markers and then we're going to enable peaks. Now down here at the bottom, it says minimum peak dB. So if I just adjust this, it should just then show the top peak that we're interested in. Obviously there are some little harmonics going on here. And if I stop the transmission on SDR Angel, you'll see that they disappear. Now I'm using a five megahertz span here. If I was to change it to something like 500, you'd see exactly how slow this is. So this is doing actually 500 megahertz scan. So it's doing 250 megahertz either side of the center frequency that we set before. But for this example, I'm just going to change it to five megs and I'm going to go ahead and press transmit on SDR Angel. OK, so we now can see we've got minus 24.9, minus 24. As you can see here, it says the frequency, 1000 megahertz, which is quite nice. So that's showing that the Hack RF is actually transmitting bang on frequency. Now I'm just going to go ahead over here and I'm just going to turn the power up here. Now as I start turning the power up, you can start seeing some other artifacts appearing. Some of these kind of extra peaks here. So this is quite a good indication to see how clean your signal is coming out of your signal source. As I lower the power down, you'll see that they'll start to disappear. So let's just take a reading at full power. So we're at full power here. And that's around minus 3, minus 3.6 dB. Now don't forget, I've got a 10 dB attenuator. So we're looking here around plus 6 dB is what is reading the output from the Hack RF one at one gigahertz. Now I think the Hack RF is actually rated around 10 dB, but I'm using a patch cable, which is around a meter long and at one gigahertz, we're gonna see some loss. So I think that's a pretty accurate reading for the power that's coming out of the Hack RF one. 
Now something to notice on the bottom right hand corner of the screen of the RSP spectrum analyzer, you've got something that says ADC. Now if you've put it too high, you'll start to see that it blinks colors. It'll go orange and red. Now this is to warn you that you've got too much power going into your RSP device. So just make sure that you do not exceed that, otherwise you can potentially damage your SDR play SDR receiver. So let's change our signal source over to the Lime SDR Mini. Now, as mentioned before, the Lime SDR Mini, it's also an SDR receiver and transmitter. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna plug it in. Uh, don't forget, we need to attach the 10 dB attenuator, because obviously we don't wanna damage our RSP Pro. And once it's all connected, we're just gonna start up SDR Angel and select the Lime SDR. So I have the Lime SDR selected up in SDR Angel and we're just going to go ahead and click the play button here and this will start transmitting a carrier, a narrow FM modulated carrier at one gigahertz. So move that out of the way uh, and here we go. We can now see on RSP Spectrum Analyzer that we have a nice peak here. So if we look at the peak here, we can see that it's around minus 10.9, 10.11 dB. Uh, taking into account that we've got a 10 dB attenuator, so we're looking at about minus 1 dB. You can also see that it's quite a nice clean signal. If I just change this, we can change the color so you can see it a little bit easier. Now while this is transmitting, let's go ahead and change this to 500 megs span. And let's see how this performs. So this is actually doing a span from 750 megs all the way up to 1.25 gigahertz. That's 1250 megahertz. Okay, so that's with the transmitter on. Let's just turn the transmitter off. You can see there that some of the peaks are being removed. And that's because the transmitter is not actually transmitting. And obviously these other little peaks are either some noise or there's some harmonics that's coming out of the Lime SDR Mini. Now I am driving the Lime SDR Mini at full power. So I'm gonna drop the power down, start the power back up again, and we'll see if we've got less harmonics coming through. So we can clearly see here that by overdriving the Lime SDR Mini, for example, it will actually start chucking out some spurious harmonics or signals that we don't want. So that's another really cool thing about this software when used in conjunction with an SDR Play receiver. It provides you a nice real-time graphical display of the signals coming out of your signal source, whether it be a SDR transmitter, a handheld radio, a mobile radio. Now don't forget, like I've mentioned before, please make sure that you use an appropriate attenuator if you're gonna be running any sort of power. So if you've got a radio that say puts out a maximum of 10 watts, you want to use at least a 40 or 50 dB attenuator between your radio and the SDR play SDR receiver, purely because you don't want to damage your SDR receiver. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back to, let's put this to one megahertz. You can see that it's scanning really fast because it doesn't have to scan so much of the bandwidth, Go up to 10 megs. An interesting little spur over here. Just change that to 100 megs. And we can see here, we've got one here, 4.9 megs lower than the signal. And that does look like some kind of strange harmonic there. If I kill the transmitter, just let it go through and scan. And we see if it removes that one. And yes, it does. Okay guys, well there you go. That's a brief overview of the RSP Spectrum Analyzer software. Now this is a free download. You can go ahead and get it from the sdrplay.com website. Uh, and if you've got an RSP device, then go ahead and use it. At this moment in time at recording this video, RSP Spectrum Analyzer doesn't appear to support the DX version. Uh, but if you've got any of the older versions of the RSP, then it will most likely be supported. I believe they are working on support for the DX currently, and hopefully it won't be too much longer before we can use our RSP DXs. Until the next video, guys, you take care, have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next one.